a look at a legal problem called target or sorry path sum so in this case we're given the root of a binary tree and the target or integer target sum uh, return true if the tree has a root to leaf path such that adding all the values along the path equals the target sum so a leaf is a node with no children and you can see that we're basically given a so you can see we have an example like a binary tree and the target sum is 22 we're returning true because we have a path from the root to the leaf node which add up to 22 right um, and you can see we also can have another example like this where we have a where all the path in our tree right from root to leaf had, uh, does not equal the target so in this case we're returning false um, so in this case, if we look at the constraints, right? So in this case, there could be a situation where the tree can also have zero nodes at all, right? Or in this case, the root is null. Um, then in this case, it doesn't matter if the target's sum is zero or any numbers, um, we have to return false because we want to go from the root to the leaf node. And if the tree is, if there's no nodes at all in the tree, then in this case, we're just returning false, right? And that, I think that's also a good question to ask in interview. Right, if the tree is null can, and the target sum is zero, can that be equal to true? Right. So in this case, for this situation, we're just going to return false. Right. And you can also see that we can have negative values. Right. So in this case, uh, we can have negative values in our nodes, um, and target sum can also be negative value as well. So. So how can we be able to um, solve this problem? So in this case, what we can do is we can start with the base case, right? So in this case, just like I mentioned before, if we have just null, right? If the tree is null, right? If we have null value, if this is our tree and target sum is zero, we're returning false. Okay, we know that for sure. But what if we have just no zero, right? I think it's good to start with like base case. It doesn't matter DFS or tree or anything. It's very important to start with the base case Right, a smaller problem and then working our way to a complex problem or a complex example. Don't start to jump into a bigger example. Just start to work from a smaller example and work your way up to a bigger example, right? So you can see we just have one node and let's say the target sum is zero, right? We're starting from here and then we go in and we basically traverse the current node. So what should we do first? How do we how do we know if this is true or false, right? So what we can do is we can say, okay, well, this node well, first of all, it's not null. So what we can do is we can do our DFS, right? So in, in, in order to do our DFS, what we have to do is that we have to traverse down. So we don't know if there's the left tile or right tile yet. So what we can do is we can get the target sum, right, which is zero, minus the current nose value, which is zero, which give us a zero, right? So then once we update the target sum, we can be able to traverse down to the children, right, of this current node, right? So in this case, the current uh, node's children is null, right? So pretty much what we can do is we can be able to return true because in this case, the current node is null, right? There's no children and the target sum is now zero, right? So in this case, um, what we can do is we can just return true. And now let's say we have a different example, like if I have no one and the target sum is no two, um, let's say we have another example like this, right? So no one like this, no two like this, right? So the target sum is two. So in this case, we're starting from here. We do the same thing. The current node is not null. So we traverse down. So to, or to before traverse down, we have to update the, the current sum, right? In this case, we visit the current node. So the current node is one. So what we can do is the current node is one, right? So we have one here. And then in this case, we traverse down. Right, we know that the current sum or the current current sum, right, does not equal the target sum. So when we get to this level, right, what we can do is that we have to also update the target current sum as well. The current node is one, one plus one is zero, right? Sorry, one plus one is two. My bad. So what we can do is in this case, uh, this node has no children, right? So in this case, if I go down, right, I realize that the the we already update the target sum, so target sum is equal to current sum is equal to target sum. So in this case, we are returning true, right? Because we know that this is, uh, this is the root because this is a leaf node, right? Now, we, once we notice this is a leaf node and the current sum is equal to target sum, we can pretty much just return true, right? 
So pretty much this is how we solve the problem. We perform our DFS. Um, and then once we reach to a leaf node, we check to see if the current sum is equal to the target sum, right? Uh, if it is, then we can pretty much just return true. So now let's take a look at the code. So to do this in code, um, basically you can see what I did here is first, just like I said before, I check to see if the current root is null. If it's null, we can just return false. Then we do our DFS, right? We starting with our target sum. So in this case, for every single path that we're going down, we first update the target sum. Um, so in this case, the target sum is equal to root uh, target sum minus the root of value, right? So we update the first, then we check to see if it's a leaf node. If it's a leaf node, we pretty much cannot go down anymore, right? So what we had to do is we have to return to see if the target sum is equal to zero. If it is, we know that this is a path. If not, we just return false, right? Which in this case, this, this condition does that. Um, and then we basically just, you know, traverse the left side, traverse the right side, right? So, but you, you notice that we don't want to go down if the current node is null or, or the current root dot left is null, right? So in this case, what we do here is that if it's null, we just set this to false, right? And if, if the right side, if the right side of the current node is false, uh, null, we're just set to false. So at the end, basically what we're trying to do is that if one, one, one path is true, then in this case, we, we is true, right? If both path, both path is false, then in this case, the, um, in this case, the answer is false, right? So the time complexity for this one, you can see is big, basically big of n, n is number of nodes that we have in our tree. And the space complexity in this case is big O of h, which is basically the height of the tree, right? So there you have it, and thank you for watching.